Hey guys, how you doing? So yeah, this is like kind of like a new format I want to try, obviously. Yes, another video, which is completely different from all the other stuff I've done so far. So the thing is, because I want to improve my English, right, I, I want to read books in English. And I also, when we play games, I really enjoy voicing and reading out those texts in the games. So I kind of thought, like, what if I read books, stories, texts to you guys. Well, I remember it. What about my texts? I used to write many, many short stories and texts, but I did it in German. So what I did was uh, translate one of my older texts uh, so I could read it out to you, which is basically even better than just reading a book. Translating the texts, reading them out to you, getting feedback is I think the best way actually to improve my English. So I'm pretty certain there will be some mistakes in the text, maybe even some misunderstandings. I hope that's not going to be the case. I didn't try to like go at it to make it perfect or anything. It's really about translating it from what I know and getting better at that. Enjoy my text. Please feel free to feedback. I'm really looking forward to any kind of feedback. I actually, I have no idea if it's gonna be any good. I know that like in German, quite a few people like that text. It's like probably one of my most popular texts um, in the small community it was shared. But yeah, since obviously the language level will not be the same, uh, I hope still that the core of it um, is delivered. Anyways, if you like the video, please hit that like button. If you're new to the to the to the channel, please uh, feel free to subscribe. Also, please feel free to uh, visit me on Twitch. I'm streaming four days per week. Um, it's all linked below. And also, if you want to chat, if you want to stay in contact, um, feel free to join the Discord. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye. Tomorrow. As I'm observing the scenery outside, an older man enters the compartment and takes the opposite seat. The compartment is quite empty, not many driving at this hour and preferably sleeping instead of having a cigarette. He is probably lonely, I think, and greet him with a smile. Afterwards, I'm reaching for my bag and pull out a new bought guidebook. Scarcely flipping the book open as we both chuckle, we both got the same journal. Holidays? He's asking politely. We're both getting along very well, I'm noticing. We are noticing instantly. Obviously, we have the same travel destination, share the same cigarettes, and prefer, on the right course, the same cigars. And since, in his mind, this seems to be such an instance, he's handing me one of his. Obviously, I'm insisting on repaying the debt at another occasion. After a few conversations, he's coughing incessantly about our lives and family situation, he widowed, no children. He asks, And how do you imagine your tomorrow? Any plans? I did not have much to respond. No, no solid plans, a rough idea maybe. Enjoying life more than learning and working? Probably. Can still do that later. He nods sympathetic and answers his own question. I have plans. He smiles as if he had made a caustic wit and adds, But I'm flexible. And you never know what awaits you in life. True, no one knows. I'm nodding just slightly and wonder if he tried to hint at something. This time a dire cough attack. When I took off, my only thought was to return with many photos and then I forgot my camera, he's telling me. I think he's very likable. I have one with me, you can borrow it if you want to. I'm mentioning and expect a polite refusal in return. My new acquaintance turned out to be buoyant and active, although always coughing. We spent some time together outdoors. In the early morning, we would go for a long walk before running errands at the market. At breakfast, he always told me stories from his long and adventurous life. We had various things to do during daytime, be it loafing, playing cards or hiking. In the evening, we sat together on the shallow grass and gazed at the sunset, while he was humming incomprehensible words at himself. Before we were on our way back, he said to me, My son, this was a good day, but tomorrow shall be better. The loud clattering of the train wakes me up just in time. Only a dream. On the opposite seat, only his book, I pocketed it. As I exit the train, announcements everywhere. The continuation would be delayed. An incident, they say. I'm only picking up words like man's restroom and... 
He didn't have much left anyways. I'm taking a cab, even with just the little luggage and all the traveling back tomorrow, after my father's funeral.